Hey YouTube, welcome back to Fallout 4. Last time, oh, dog me found something. What'd you find, boy? What'd you find? Uh, I don't need any of that. But anyway, last time I cleared out Backstreet Apparel. Thank God, it took me long enough. I'm hoping I found some good clothes while I was in there, cause you know, this whole survivor just does not get enough of a chance to go shopping. So now I'm off to Oberlin Station to inform them that all is well. Oh, but first, oh, and that's my dog again. Hello, Marty. What are you growling at, Miss Missy? I think she's growling at my cat. Um, okay, now I can get a new perk. Let's see. I can choose one. I kind of want to boost my strength for a higher carrying limit, because, like, mine's really bad right now, but... Hmm. Let me think here. That uh, needs level 9. Non-automatic weapons. No, I want this. Yep. The deed is done. Did I get gun nut? I did get gun nut. Cool. Now, my next mission... Data. Also, it occurred to me I never actually talked to Sturges about planting those gourds. So, whoops. But troubled waters. Show on map. Okay. I think first I'm gonna go to Oberlin Station. But then after that... Oh, that's west. I wanna go... directly north. This game gets so confusing sometimes. And even though it's not safer during the daytime, I feel safer, which is very silly. Am I going the right way? I am not go- what the hell? That's not what I meant to do. I am not going the right way. I'm gonna cheat. Yes! Yes! God, I miss Pinky in the brain. And the brain is still an active voice actor, which makes me so happy. He was the voice of Doctor Doom on Avengers Assemble, which was the height, the like the highlight of my year. Hi. Did you have any luck with those raiders? So much luck. Um, do I get to talk to her? I took care of those raiders for you. Really? That's the best news I've heard in a long time. And by the way, we've talked about it. And we've decided to support the Minutemen. Yeah! I think it's worth giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. Heck yes! Okay, cool. Does that mean I can cook some food while I'm here? Oh, there's the... They will let me cook here. Now what is needed for whiskey? And three dirty waters, which I don't have any of. Legit. Not fucking legit. Oh, rad scorpion steak. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Now, what is my next goal? Investigate the water treatment plant. Yep, that's gonna be my next goal. First, I'm gonna remove that custom marker. And I'm gonna get to that water treatment plant somehow. I'm gonna actually cheat a little bit and head straight to Grey Garden. I know I'm, like, killing my chances for random encounters, and I love random encounters so much, but I get so lost in this bloody game. So, really, this is for your sake that I'm doing the fast traveling. Oh, excuse me, I need coffee. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Coffee. Good stuff. And my favorite mug. Yes, it's the Allerdale Hall mug. Um, right, this isn't where I mean. I think I have too many things selected right now. I don't need to talk to Preston right now. just need to get to that stinking water treatment plant. 
Is there anything worth investigating in these houses? Have I already investigated them? I don't think so, because I would have noticed all this. Yeah, I would have taken this. I definitely would have taken all this. Uh, that's a jackhammer. Antifreeze bottle. I don't know why they make antifreeze taste good. Not like I've ever had it. I've just known several people's dogs who have died from having it. Including my first dog's brother, which is really sad. <laughs> my, uh, yeah, I know it's weird that I knew my first dog's brother, but when my mom adopted her, she visited her friend who immediately went out and adopted her brother, which was really sweet. Oh, okay, I can't get in here. Can I get in through the front? Oh, that's the Grey Garden Homestead. Oh wait, is this a dungeon? This looks like a dungeon. Oh shit, are there gonna be ghouls in here? At least if there are, I'll be able to quickly eliminate them. The Grey Garden Home- Ooh. I don't like fedoras unless I'm the one wearing them. I'll take that pencil if I do say so myself. I'll also take that pen and that telephone. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm not hoarding for the sake of hoarding. Ooh, a toaster. That will be useful. Mac and cheese. Don't need that. Always take hot plates. Hmm. An antique globe. That will have screws. A desktop picture frame. What else is in here? Oh, oh, nothing I can do there. What about this room? Inaccessible. How about up here? What a weird little house. Okay, well, that was a waste of my time. And your time, the viewer. Sorry about that hoping something interesting would be in there, or, like I would get some sort of story. Ooh, and I forgot to set a timer again. God damn it. There we go. Thankfully I still had it open from my last recording. Well, Camptown ladies sing this song, do da do da. Because, honestly, I have to keep my audience entertained somehow while this thing loads. Um, I'm pretty sure this isn't the right way, but I'm going to just walk. Oh, look, there's a road. I'll take the road. Come on, buddies. God's worth. Dog meat. Keep up. Oh, and also, it occurs to me that a couple videos back, I called dog meat boomer and that is very indicative of what i've been up to lately sorry boomer i mean sorry dog me say i just did it again and well sorry to you too boomer though actually i remember when the first trailers for far cry or rather the boomer trailers for far cry 5 came out my first thought was oh boy this is going to be like a dog meat versus boomer thing for the rest of my days okay Dear everyone, how the shit am I, am I supposed to get there? I guess I took the wrong road. I need to take the road more traveled, apparently. Oh, what's that? Those are super mutants? I'm just gonna... Fucking super mutants. They are my least favorite thing in this game. Uh, uh, just, okay. Forewarning, you're about to watch me die a lot. Okay. Gotta find a better way around here. No shit, don't do that. Yeah, I gotta find a better way. Is that a rad barrel? It's not marked, so I'm gonna assume it's not. <whistles> Fucking. Uh, mutants, they freak me out. 
Super mutants, at least. Regular mutants, they don't freak me out. I love every last one of you X-Men. And the Brotherhood. All of you. Except for Scott. You're boring as shit. <laughs> oh, how do I get here without killing myself? Oh. Okay. I might be able to snipe this guy from a distance if I get closer. Oh, this is risky. I hate this. Hate, hate, hate. Shit, see? This is what I mean. I'm a ball of hate. Caps lock. And I only have a... No, that's not enough. That's too close to 50-50. I need to get closer. Picking up hostile life signs. I know. Me too. See how he has a missile launcher? Shit. Fuck you, big shit, shit. I have a missile launcher too, but I don't have any missiles. Perhaps I should take out the old sensor array. No, no, really. That's, um... That's on me. Okay, are we ready for this? Oh, God. I'm so full of regret right now. Okay. Where's the rest of you? Okay, I need to let this stuff reheat, as it were. Okay, ready for this? Oh shit, really? Did I die? Whoa, I didn't die! Holy hell! Okay, now I'm about to die. I'm just gonna let this be. Yep. I died. Wow. That's one hell of a way to go, folks. Ugh. I hate super mutants so much. So much. I can't believe I offered to do this for Grey Garden. Okay. I might just skip forward here and see if I can't get some work done. Get these bastards out of my way. So, I will see you momentarily. Okay, surprise, surprise, after several failed attempts, I've decided to go back and face the super mutants at a, at a later level. I think I should be better at fighting super mutants. Maybe I should get my power armor. Oh, hell yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get my power armor and I'll come back. What do I have to do in the meantime? I've gotta go back to Sanctuary. So, we're going back to Sanctuary. And I'm gonna have a sip of coffee. Ah. I like that wasteland gothic. Okay, where's Sturgis? First things first, I'm gonna find Sturgis. There he is. I'm sorry. I wouldn't be very good company right That's now. That's okay, buddy. You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy. Hey, Sturgis. Hey, Sturgis. Doggy. This place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. The oh, yeah. Is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. Mmm, defenses. Say no more. I'm on it. Ah, thanks. It'll make everyone feel more secure here. I'm gonna just build a giant ass turret right at the gate. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Might as well scrap a little bit of stuff while I'm here, though. At least the car. That's all I need. I'm sure that will be enough. And a turret. Defense. Turrets. Oh, yes. A heavy machine gun turret. Now we are talking. Just try to screw with us now, raiders. Oh, wait, I forgot. That's right. You don't want to screw with us. I'm actually gonna, oops, 
Center that a bit more. No, that's not centered at all. The exciting world of watching Kate trying to center shit. Hmm. Nope. There we go. Good enough. We got ourselves a turret! Hey Sturgis, I got you a turret! Do you love me now? Dear Marcy, I know you don't love me. You make that blatantly clear. Okay, here he is. Hey Sturgis. Thanks for doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Home. Feels good. Nice. Um, what's next? What next? Well, I guess figuring out how to get back to living instead of just surviving. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Then why aren't you a romance you? candidate? Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. He is the definition of the perfect southern gentleman. Also, yes, I know his secret, and I don't care. Why would I care about that? And if you're wondering what his secret is, um, Briz, it's spoilery, so I'm not going to say it in the video. But if you want me to hit me up later, um, yeah, hit me up. Um, where's Preston? He's got to be around here somewhere. No, oh, that's what I I want. Raider troubles, not troubled waters. Okay, I was just going the wrong way. Hey, Preston. Preston. Damn it! You can't jump over these fences. I thought you could. Where did he go? I hear him, humming away. Found you. Hey, what Preston. Do you need, General? I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. The people there have decided to join our cause. And I got some sweet, you. sweet new clothes. One day, we'll be strong enough to drive that scum out of the Commonwealth for good. As usual, I've got something else for you to look into. And that's not our your fault. That's mechanics. Spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. I love know, this we'll place. We'll have a new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Do you like me yet, Codsworth? Can we talk? Hey. Can I be of service? Come back. Hey, Codsworth. There you go. Oh, thanks. Um, how about our relationship? How do you feel about our relationship? Right as rain. Aw, oh, good! the Commonwealth leaves something to be desired, it's all well and good as long as we're together. Aw, I get the robot's approval. Okay, um, thoughts? Your thoughts? A communist, a spy, and a Chinese man walk into a bar. He orders a drink. Oh my god. Okay, um, never mind. All right, then. I don't have anything to say to that. I know it's the Fallout 4 universe, and it's entirely different and everything, and, like, China is the enemy, but... Hey, any Chinese people who are watching, um, please take no offense. Actually, I have to wonder how Chinese people feel about this series. I mean, I'm sure they're aware that it's just, like, satire of the yellow peril. Or, and the red peril, I guess, but yellow peril, red you peril, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Fix most things, but people don't fix so easily. I think I'm actually going to pick up Preston. Where do you go? Dear Preston. Hello, Preston. Be my friend. I got word of a settlement that needs our help. I'm Another one? On we can use all the support we can get. Okay. So see what you can do to help. Okay. But wait, hey don't there. go anywhere. Is there something you need? Yeah. Um, well, how are, how you, are feeling? you feeling? I'm glad to have the chance to return the favor. After all the help you gave me. 
Aww. Just let me know if there's anything else you need. Okay, how about you follow me? me? I need your help. Sure thing, General. I think the folks here can manage on their own now. Thanks to you. Mr. Garvey, I'm sure you will take good care of my mistress. Good day to you both. Take care, Cosworth. I'll head for home then. Good luck. Aw. Yeah, you just stay at Sanctuary Hills. And you and I will head out together. You ready for that, Preston? Hmm. Now, what do I need to do? Yeah, this is what I'm going to focus on right now. Wait, what's fires? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Taking point. I know I should actually go and, like, get my other companions. Wait, what time is it? Too early to hit the hay. Come on, Preston, we're going. I'll tell you what's wrong with the Commonwealth. People can't see the big picture. That's a statement I would generally agree with. And that's kind of the problem with people who don't like you. They can't see the big picture either. God, I just don't understand people who have this vengeance or this grudge against genuinely good characters. Like, oh, good characters are boring. Fuck right off, man. How grim, dark, and edgy do you need to be? Like, get over yourself. And yes, that is an actual statement I have heard many, many times in my life. Good is boring. Look, I like a good villain myself, too. I love a good villain. Like, my, some of my favorite characters are Loki and Pagan Min. Yes, I know that's kind of a weird favorite character to have. I know that Far Cry 4 wasn't very well received, but I love Pagan Min. And so, you know, like the typical fabulous sort of queer coded um, villains are the ones I love. Wait, am I going the wrong way? No, I'm not. But, man, that just doesn't compare to the goodness that some characters hold in their heart. Like, the ones I always crush on were, you know, this is going to be revealing me as a huge Marvel fan, but, like, my big crush when I was a little kid was Jean Grey. I didn't realize I had a crush on her, but, oh my god, did I ever have a crush on her. And it's just or stayed that way ever since. I like the good guys. The bad guys are entertaining. The good guys are the ones you fall in love with. Hmm. How do I get here? Oops, I keep forgetting that's not how you click and drag here. Okay, I might as well take the diner route. No, I don't want to fast travel, I just want to place a marker. Here we go! On the road again. Why do I always sing that when I play this game? I'm really nervous about stopping anywhere that isn't on my, like, designated path. Who is anybody here? Those are blood bugs. Nasty as shit. I'm gonna crouch. I'm gonna sneak. I'm gonna get those blood bug bastards. I think they killed some settlers. Or maybe they're raiders. Either way, it's not good. So nerve-wracking. Uh, I'll call that a good enough chance. Okay. Well, I got one. Oops. I've got to stop hitting tab when I mean to hit. I can't do that. Okay, I gotta switch out my weapons. Um... Take that, shithead. Nice, it's raining blood bugs. Also, Preston, I think you would do a lot more damage without that stupid, um, razor, razor, I mean laser gun. Point in leaving that for the scavengers. I quite agree. But technically, I am a scavenger. That made you like me? Okay. I, I don't understand what makes people like you in these games. But okay, folks. 
Um, I don't actually, wait, how long have I been recording now? I don't know because I had to just break it off to try to fight those stupid super mutants. So I'll throw a couple more minutes in. Take that, take that, take that. Take that. The harness is more protective than the Minuteman outfit. I find that hard to believe. Sorry, Scaver. Nice, though. Very nice. Is anything back here? Nope. Okay, back on the road. Come on, Preston, keep up. Preston. There you are. So yeah, in summary, I'm very protective of good guys, and I hate blood bugs and super mutants. I hope I'm going the right way here. I am. Okay, so I'm not actually going to go to that diner. I'm going to... No. Remove marker. I can do this by myself. Hmm. I heard a very interesting thing about these crows. A very interesting thing. That's actually canon and not just a theory. It's like straight up canon. But I'm keeping that to myself. If I say that like I'm ever going to get around to doing that quest line. And have we arrived? Now what are the monstrosities here? I forget, it's been so long. I love this place. This is one of my favorite places to set up a settlement. Anything I can take here? Nope. But this is the place. I love it. Yeah! Starlight Drive-In, hello! We are here! Now, which gun do I need? I think I'm gonna need my up-close-and-personal gun. Oh! Oh shit! Shit's getting real! And I don't want to get rad poisoning! No! Bad rads! Um... I didn't think that would work. Ew. That's a bottle cap mine. Here we go! Yeah, I'm working on it, Preston. Oh man, this guy's tough. I'm gonna... Oof. Whew. And I'm getting rad poisoning like you would not believe here. And I know there's a bottle cap mine right in there. Oops. Wow, that was impressive. I love this song. Into each life some rain must fall A tear just falling in my... Such a pretty song. Um, okay, I think I'm going to call it an episode here. But once again, thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, keep on gaming.